Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another vlog. Um, we actually are going to the pool today. I took this time to show you guys my new bathing suits that I got this year. Some of these bathing suits my sister actually gave me gave to me so i'll tell you guys which ones are what so this one i got from target and i have um, me and malia got these the same day for the beach because she is coming with us to the beach and we got matching bathing suits this one's from target um this black top we i got in my vlog my last vlog at target these blue bottoms that i also got at target in our last vlog i love these so much i got a pair of this color before in the light blue challenge but i had to return them because they weren't i didn't really like them that much but these ones and then i got these really cute flowered ones from target my sister gave me this bathing suit and this is also from target my sister also gave me this one this one's from sheen um this one's from target i also got this one from target This like marbled one that I loved. This cheetah print one, which I love this one too as well from Target. These are most of these are from Target. Okay, my sister gave me this one. This one's from Target as well. My sister also gave me this one. This one's from Target. And I also got these bottoms. My sister gave me these ones and they're from Target. Um, I also need to pick out the bathing suit I'm going to be wearing today. I got this one last year. I could wear this one. Or I should wear one that I haven't worn yet. I could wear this green one. Bathing suits always just smell like the pool. And they smell good. But I think I'm going to wear my new one. This one. With. I could wear these tie-dye bottoms. see what that looks like this black top with these little tie-dye bottoms but i like do like not doing my hair before i put my outfit on for the day i had a sleepover at my friend's house and i just got back a lot of my stuff's in my book bag i'm not gonna really do anything with my hair because we're going to the pool so. So yeah, my hair gets so naughty when i sleep this is an eyelash color from e.l.f. I'm not really a fan of it, but I saw a mascara on from yesterday because I didn't take it off last night. I see how I curl my eyelashes, so I just take this and then I put it like, I'll do it from this. I got an angle like this and then I do it twice like that. And then I do it once, like, this. I just started doing it because it literally curls my eyelashes good. So, I like to put a lot on, and then at the end, I take, like, a spoolie and make sure they're not, like, clumped. I know that you're going to be, like, there's no point of wearing makeup to the pool. I just like wearing mascara. I take this spoolie from e.l.f. And I just go like this. And if it looks bad, then I fix it. And then I take a Q-tip. Get some makeup remover. And clean off my eyelid with the Q-tip. I'm sure you guys can't see. I'm literally sure that I need it to be like up here. Oh my god. I'm doing it like that. Okay. If you can see better. Also, if you guys like our vlogs, comment down below. Because we'll do like a lot of vlogs. Because I kind of like doing vlogs a lot. Because you guys just get to see our day. So I'm picking up a friend today to take to the pool. Because I don't like going to the pool by myself. Let me see. I don't like this close up on my face, but I'm just seeing if it looks good. Yeah, it looks good enough. I'm going to do my under um, lashes. Also, for my under lashes, I do not put a lot. Okay, now I'm going to like pick out like, my color. 
cover-up outfit. And then I already picked out my bathing suit, which is really cute. I really like my bathing suit that I'm wearing today. This Ron John shirt strap. I'm going to wear a pair of Nike Pros. Also, I wish I had black, but, but they're not clean. Okay, guys, so I got this new cup from Starbucks, and just watch. Now it needs water. It literally changes colors. It turns blue. And it was only five bucks. And it comes with this really cool straw for five dollars. Like you can't beat it. And it comes in what five different colors? Yeah, Brianna also got one. She got peach. Yeah, she got peach. I don't know where it's at, but all right, I'm packing your lunch. So I got you pickles, applesauce, cheese stick, and ham. Well, what about a sandwich? Well, I just put it all separate for you. That's yeah. yours. This is okay. my wrap. We are actually leaving the house on time this doesn't happen very often it is so hot out today i have a feeling that the pool is going to be packed We're today to my friend right now. yeah braylon has a friend going with her today if not she would not go to the pool because she would be so bored if she didn't have somebody there with her i do not get in the water but today is so so hot that i don't know if i'm going to be able to take not getting in today plus she's doing one of the Good. Shoot on the one that shoots you. Plus today it's so hot out and I got burnt yesterday. I don't know if I should probably be laying out for four hours with a burnt stomach. You gotta get home in enough time to get Braylon ready. She has volleyball camp today. Well, not today, tonight. She has volleyball camp from six to nine, which is gonna be a long evening. So we have to make sure we leave and plenty of time to get you home and get you ready for your volleyball cam. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, there's a deer that just crossed in front of us. Okay. 30 minutes it is then. We're going to leave the pool at 430. Sounds good. All right. We're going to pull in here and get Braylon's friend and we will see you guys at the pool. Are you about ready to go? Yeah. Is the water's still really cold, or since it's so hot, are you starting to get used to it? It's like cold when you get out. But it feels good inside. All right, well, let's start getting our stuff gathered up so we can go. Okay, guys, so we just dropped off my friend, and now we're at McDonald's because we're gonna get the frozen Coke. I've gotten it before, and it's really, really good. And Well, you just discovered it like, what, two weeks ago? Four weeks ago? Yeah. Time goes by fast. All right. So you just discovered it four weeks ago and you're like obsessed with them now, right? So if it's a really hot day, we always stop at McDonald's on the way back home because it's right by our house and get a frozen Coke. And they have, I'm sitting here now looking. Fanta, blue raspberry, Fanta, wild cherry. And oh. a Minute Maid Tropical. Oh, they have a Minute Maid Tropical Mango Slushy. So we're going to do the frozen Coca-Cola. Well, you are, not me. What size do you want? Since you have volleyball camp, do you want a medium instead of a large? Okay. Can I get French fries? You want fries too? Medium. Medium fries? Okay. If you're that tired, how are you going to get through volleyball camp? Can I, take your order? Can I get a medium frozen Coke and a medium fry, please? Ketchup. With ketchup. I'm tired. Oh, no. Your volleyball camp is seriously from six to nine. You had a sleepover last night. You said you went to bed late. You got up early for whatever reason. You've been at the pool all day and now you have camp. I don't know if you're gonna make it through camp. So what I would suggest, we're gonna go home, take a quick shower. Actually, you don't even need to take a shower since you're going to volleyball camp because you're gonna to wanna to take a shower when you get home. All right, we'll take a quick shower and then I would just suggest relaxing for like 30 minutes. So that is a frozen Coke. Literally just looks like an icy, but it's Coke flavored. 
Oh, it is so good. I had to try it the first time Braylon got one and I have to admit, I can see why she's like addicted to them now because they are so, so good. We don't go to McDonald's very often. Like ever since we got a pool membership, we have probably gone to McDonald's more in the past. Let's see, how long have you been out of school? Um, exactly a month. We've been to McDonald's more in the last month than we have in the last three years. Wouldn't you say? Because we don't go to McDonald's ever. And we have been stopping at McDonald's either before we go to the pool That's to like grab like a quick lunch. If we didn't have time to eat lunch before we left the house. We've done that twice. Um, just gotten like a big thing of chicken nuggets and fries. But like sometimes we just go to get Coke too. Yeah. But normally we are just stopping on the way home because it's been so hot out to get a frozen Coke. And then sometimes we'll get french fries with the frozen Coke. But we literally have gone to McDonald's more in the last month than we have in the last several years. We drive past three fast food restaurants on the way home. Burger King, Taco Bell, and McDonald's. They're all right there together. There's no other places that we pass on the way from the pool to our house. And neither one of us like Taco Bell or Burger King. So... I used to like Taco Bell, but my stomach Yeah, Braylon used to love Taco Bell, but now she can't eat it anymore. So we just stop at McDonald's. It's a nice little treat. I like Burger King um, french fries, but I like, and but I don't really like their chicken that much. Yeah, I don't like their food at all at Burger King. The only thing that I like at Taco Bell, and you like a Taco Bell, cinnamon are those cinnamon twists. twists. Those are so good. That is the only thing that I'll eat from there. But McDonald's, I have to say, McDonald's has the best french fries. Well, Chick-fil-A isn't fast food to me. Yes, it is. I know. It, it technically is, but in my eyes, Chick-fil-A doesn't even count as a fast food restaurant. Like, the best fries are the steak fries. Yeah, no fast food restaurants. You have to get that at, like, an actual restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I said not fast food restaurants, but, like, a restaurant. Like, food. Texas Roadhouse. Cheese fries? Ooh. Texas Roadhouse cheese fries are so good. They're the steak fries with the cheese and the bacon on them. Oh, yeah. Definitely good. We haven't been to Texas Roadhouse in a while. Whose birthday is coming up that we can go to Texas Roadhouse? Mine. My birthday is in two weeks. We're going to be at the beach. Nah, -uh. but I could be at the beach this year for my birthday. We're going later this year. Maybe we'll go to Texas Roadhouse for my birthday. So tell them what happened with this volleyball camp though. So I had asked one of Braylon's friends. Braylon's kind of funny about going to camps when she doesn't know somebody. She's definitely not one of those ones that will go to an overnight camp even if she does know somebody. And if she does go to a day camp, she has to know somebody that's there. So I was trying to find some day camps for her to do over the summer, like sports type camps. And there's this volleyball camp because Braylon doesn't just play soccer. Soccer is her number one, but her number two is volleyball and the number three is basketball. And so I found one of her friends to do this volleyball camp with her, which was perfect. She was gonna know somebody, it makes it just a lot easier for her. She feels a little more comfortable. And her friend's softball team won their playoff game last night. So now she has another game tonight, so she can't go to this volleyball camp. Well, she decided that she's just not gonna go to the camp at all because she's gonna miss tonight. And it's only three nights, so she's only gonna go for two days. And if they win their game tonight, she has a game tomorrow. So then she would only be going for one day. So it was just pointless, basically, for her to do this camp. So we, um, so her mom just decided she wasn't gonna do this camp. So Braylon's like, oh my gosh, mom, who's gonna go? Who's gonna go? So we were just trying to think of like some girls that we know that play volleyball for the school that Braylon goes to. And um, one of her friends from her basketball team last year also plays volleyball. So I texted her mom and her mom was like, yeah, she's gonna be there, but she's not gonna be there till late tonight. And so we're just kind of like back to like where we were before of trying to find somebody that's gonna be at this camp. But the camp is held at our school. So I know there's gonna be people there that she'll know, but she's definitely gonna be a little nervous at first walking in to camp. Once she gets in there, she starts to like feel a little more comfortable, but it's just that initial like, am I gonna know anyone type feeling? And some people are like that, some people aren't. Okay, so we are almost home. We have 45 minutes until we have to leave the house. So Braylon needs to shower quickly, 
get ready and then try to lay down for a little bit. Or I would say shower quickly, lay down for a little bit. Then when you get up, you can get ready. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get her up for this camp. She looks exhausted. It was probably a bad idea to do a sleepover in the pool. Hey. All right, baby, it's time to get mm -hmm. up, okay? I know. You gotta get up, okay? I'm gonna pull your blinds back up to put light in here. You had about a 15 minute nap, okay? You gotta get up and get ready so you're not late. All right, I finally got Braylon up. We are running really, really late because she is so tired. It still smells like chlorine. I put, I even like, I'm only gonna be able to put it in twice. I put shampoo and conditioner. I don't know why. All right, so you have your volleyball shirt, you have spandex on. Here's Braylon's bag that she takes all the time and your knee pads. So there's that. You finish getting ready I and I got shoes. to finish getting ready. I don't know what shoes to wear. Okay, get some socks too. Should I wear pre-wrap or should I just go like this? You can go just like that. Okay, bring a little bit of gel so that I don't have any flyaways. Oh, we can't even see. Putting some gel just a little bit. I'm just gonna go with no pre-wrap, which I normally don't do, but I don't have enough time to not wear. I don't have enough time to put pre-wrap on because we have to leave. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm about to leave, so bye. We made it out the door. So, you have sneakers, knee pads, water bottle, snack, right? Because you need a snack. Check, like actual check for me to pay for you to do this camp. And I think that's everything that she needs. So it is 545. We have to be there at 550. And we're like five minutes from the school. So perfect timing. How are you feeling? Did the nap like give you a little bit of a rest? No. Okay. Well, the 15 minute little nap did not work, but I think it worked more than what she thinks it probably did because they always say if you can get a 10 or 15 minute little power nap, it's good for the body. And that's about what she had was a 10 or 15 minute nap. So I think she'll be good. So I'm going to drop Raylan off at this camp. She's going to be there till nine o'clock, which is a really long camp, but I'm going to go have dinner with my friends and then I will be back to pick her up from camp. I promise. What was the thing you said to me? Don't be late. Don't be late. I won't be late to pick her up. I promise I will not be late to pick you up. I will be there. I won't be at dinner till nine o'clock with my friends. I'll probably end up getting to her camp at like eight o'clock and having to sit out in the car for an hour because it'll be stupid for me to run all the way back home and then come back out to get her so starting to feel a little bit better about this camp are you still really nervous you don't know i think as soon as we walk in the door and she realizes there's so many people there that she knows she's going to feel a little bit better i just know that that's what's going to happen at least that's what i hope is going to happen <laughs> i hate leaving her there when she's anxious because braylon does suffer from some anxiety of new situations is what her anxiety is. She's had this anxiety since she was very little. That was just a water bottle. She's had this since she was very little. I remember when she was two, she was old enough to start going to um, the two-year-old class. They had like a Sunday school class. We go to a really big church. So they have a two-year-old class, a three-year-old class, a four-year-old class, and then it's kindergarten, first, second, third. Like each year you move up to a new class. That's how big our church is. There's enough kids to fill all of those age groups. And um, the two-year-old class, thankfully, um, Scott, her dad, aunt was in charge of that class. So it made it a little bit better. She definitely cried and stuff when we dropped her off, but um, Aunt Bonnie was always there to cuddle her and make her feel better and stuff like that. So that class didn't go too bad. But then when she went to the three-year-old class, this is not a lie. She would go in. We Normally, they would just have like the gate closed. They wouldn't have the door. It would just be like a baby gate across it. And as soon as Braylon would be in the classroom, me and Scott would like have to run out. They would have to shut the door, which is not normal. They normally did not shut the door, but they would shut the door. And you could hear her on the other side of the door kicking and screaming and crying that she wanted mommy so bad. And we like just had to let her get over it. And so that was fine after like 
a month or so she got comfortable and then it would start all over again when she would have to go to the four-year-old class and then it would start all over when she went to the fifth grade class and that was like every single year now the crying and the kicking and the screaming and stuff like that stopped by the time she was like four but she would still get really anxious that's why she bites her fingernails a lot if you guys notice in some of our videos if she's biting her fingernails a lot or she's like messing with her hair she's just a very anxious person so it's still like this the first day of school she gets really anxious uh, she gets nervous about like who's gonna be in her class who's her bus driver who's her teachers is she gonna know anybody it's the same with any new sports teams camps family functions even if like we're going to a family function she worries about like who's gonna be there so anyway she does suffer with some anxiety and um, she's not as outgoing as you guys probably think she is when she's behind a camera and there's nobody in front of her she can feel like she can just talk and talk and talk but she gets anxious and she's not outgoing as what you probably think when she is in a crowd of people so that's a little back on Raylan but anyway we are getting ready to pull in here to her camp and we will see you guys afterwards to see her take on how she feels like the camp went. Okay, so I'm here to pick up Raylan from her camp. I actually only got here 20 minutes before the camp's over. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I'd be sitting here waiting for her for like an hour, but it's not. It is only 20 minutes, so not bad. So um, I did text her at like 7.30 when I knew that they were gonna have their snack break just to check on her to see how she was doing. I was like, how are you? And she's like, good. So that's a good thing. It's not like she's saying, I'm bored, I don't like it. She said, good. So that is definitely a good sign that she is um, liking the camp and doing well. So how was camp? Good. Anybody there that you knew? Yeah. Like a lot, a little? Like five people. Like five people. So it made you feel more comfortable and you liked the camp? Did you learn some good stuff? I didn't really learn anything. Didn't really learn anything, but it was nice to get your hands on the ball again. Yeah. yeah. All right, are we going home? Oh yeah, ice cream. You want ice cream. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. I literally said in my mind, I'm gonna pick her up and she's gonna want ice cream. Yeah, we can get some ice cream. It was such a hot day today, even though you had a frozen Coke earlier today. You haven't had dinner. It melted. You haven't had dinner, I just thought about that. I had french fries. You had french fries and a Coke and then you took a nap and you went right there. Did you eat your snack that was packed? Oh my gosh. So you're gonna have ice cream for dinner? Definitely. I have french fries. French fries is not enough for dinner. You probably need to get something to eat too. I feel like an awful mother right now. I didn't feed you dinner because we were so rushed. Do you want to get ice cream and something to eat? No. So I got raspberry soft serve. They make this in there themselves. They have like specialty soft serve each season. And right now it's raspberry and peanut butter. And we were a little bummed. They make their own waffle cones in there and it's 30 minutes before they close or 15 minutes before they close and so they are already sold out of their waffle cone so we could not get a waffle cone and what kind of ice cream did you get mint chip mint chip which is my second favorite me and Braylon this is really good yeah me and Braylon like the same kind of ice cream so I get one she gets the other and then we can just share each other's and it's like we get two flavors 